Straight to the White House now. Let's listen in to the FEMA administrator giving an update on the hurricane that we're expecting. And this is a really important point that I want to talk about next. It's unpreparedness. And again, I really ask for all of your help to help me ensure the people in the storm's path get this message. While we are engaged uh, with our states to prepare for the path of this storm, it's critical that the people that are in the path of this storm are also prepared. And I know that the people of Florida are no stranger to storms, and I encourage all Floridians to take this storm seriously. This storm is very strong and is expected to strengthen to a major hurricane by the time it makes landfall due to high surface temperatures in the Gulf of Mexico. This means heavy winds, high winds, heavy rain, and a forecasted 12-foot storm surge in some of the areas along the western coast. This storm surge, this is one of the highest risk parts of a hurricane and is especially problematic along the west coast of Florida due to the underwater geography. The coastal shelf gets shallow very quickly, which increases the amount of the storm surge, putting more people at risk. Very few people can survive being in the path of major storm surge, and this storm will be deadly if we don't get out of harm's way and take it seriously. So I ask all Floridians to be vigilant and heed the warnings of your local officials. Have a plan to communicate with your family and your loved ones. Charge your cell phones, your batteries, any devices that you may have, and ensure that you are receiving emergency alerts. And most important, please listen to the warnings of local officials. If they tell you to evacuate, please do so immediately. And remember, you don't have to evacuate far. If you are in a storm surge warning area, it could mean just traveling 10 or 20 miles to get out of the most significant um, impact areas. It does not mean having to travel hundreds of miles to get out of the storm's path. And finally, we are all in this together. I ask that you check on your neighbors, especially those who are older adults, people living with disabilities, or may need additional assistance. Um, but before I close, I want to provide an update on another topic that has been widely reported in recent days and asked by many of you, uh, FEMA's Disaster Relief Fund, which as of this morning has a balance of $3.4 billion. So today, I am directing the implementation of immediate needs funding. This means that FEMA will prioritize available funding for critical response efforts to Edalia, the Maui fires, and any other extreme weather events that may come our way without interruption, while continuing to meet the immediate needs of survivors through the remaining weeks of the fiscal year. I want to repeat, we are prioritizing funding for Edalia, for the Maui fires, and any other extreme weather events that are coming our way without interruption. And I want to stress, that while immediate needs funding will ensure we can continue to respond to disasters, it is not a permanent solution. Congress must work with us on the supplemental request that the administration has made on behalf of FEMA. And you are going to hear more from me on that soon. My primary responsibility at FEMA is to ensure that we are always postured to respond to any disaster and to provide the life-saving and life-sustaining support when needed. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.